You probably already know that there were once animals on the Earth that don't live here anymore, like dinosaurs or the woolly mammoth. We say that animals that have died out, that is, all of them have died, so none are left alive, have gone extinct. Most people think of extinct animals as ones that died out a long, long time ago, but some animals have gone extinct recently enough that people saw it happen and in some cases even caused it. This is a countdown of 10 fascinating extinct animals, including some you've probably never heard of, as well as some you may have. Number 10, Stellar Sea Cow. Stellar Sea Cow was a marine mammal similar to living dugongs and manatees, but much, much larger. First described in 1741 by the German explorer George Wilhelm Steller, during an expedition in the North Pacific, Steller sea cow grew to a length of 30 feet, or over 9 meters. Slow-moving herbivores, the sea cows were easy to catch and kill. They provided valuable food for the explorers. In addition, their thick skins were used to make boats, and their fat was used in oil lamps. Already endangered when Steller first wrote about them, it took only 27 years for hunters to kill the last of them, and by 1768, they were extinct. Number 9. The Bluebuck A species of antelope that formerly ranged the southern tip of South Africa, the bluebuck was not actually blue, although it may have seemed that way due to a mixture of black and yellow hairs. When Europeans first encountered the bluebuck in the 17th century, it was already quite rare, and it did not take very many years for the last of them to be hunted down and killed as food, although it is recorded that they did not taste very good. Still, by the year 1800, bluebucks were extinct. Number 8. The Moa Native to New Zealand, the moa grew to an incredible 12 feet, or 3.6 meters in height, and weighed up to a staggering 510 pounds, or 230 kilograms. Before Polynesians settled the islands, their only predator was the huge Haas eagle, which is also extinct. Unfortunately for the moa, the Maori arrived in New Zealand around 1280 AD and began to hunt them. And by 1440, less than 200 years later, they had been driven to extinction. Number 7. The Aurochs The ancestor of the modern-day cows we are familiar with, Aurochs roamed wild over most of Europe and Asia. Larger and more aggressive than modern cattle, the Aurochs were strong enough to defend themselves from wolves. Despite their strength and size, hunting and competition from domestic animals eventually caused their population to dwindle. By 1564, only a few dozen remained, and despite efforts to protect them, by 1627 the last known aurochs had died. Unlike the other animals listed so far, the aurochs may not stay extinct. Several breeds of cattle are closely related to the aurochs, and some people are trying to use selective breeding to create aurochs again. Number 6. The Thylacine The Thylacine, more commonly known as the Tasmanian Tiger, was native to Australia, Tasmania, and New Guinea. Although it has been compared to a tiger or a wolf, the Thylacine was actually a marsupial, like koalas and kangaroos. Depicted in Aboriginal rock art as far back as 3,000 years ago, the thylacine's first definite encounter with Europeans was not until 1792. The European settlers brought dogs and diseases with them that began to reduce the population. In addition, farmers began killing them because they thought they were eating their chickens and sheep. By 1930, the only known thylacines lived in zoos. By 1936, 
the last captive thylacine had died. Like the aurochs, the thylacine may not stay extinct. Because its extinction was so recent, scientists have samples of thylacine genetic material and DNA. Someday, they may be able to use it to clone new thylacines to once again roam the forests of Tasmania. Number 5. The Passenger Pigeon When European settlers arrived in North America, the passenger pigeon was one of the most abundant birds in the world. One flock was described as so huge that it was a mile wide, 300 miles long, and took more than 14 hours to pass by. It is estimated that the flock contained more than 3.5 billion pigeons. Because they were so common, they were hunted heavily as food. Between 1870 and 1890, their numbers dropped sharply. And in 1914, the last known passenger pigeon, a female named Martha, died in the Cincinnati Zoo. Although scientists are now researching methods to bring the passenger pigeons back from extinction, the birds are not able to reproduce outside of large flocks, something which played a role in their decline. And so instead of only a few individuals, they would need to create several thousand birds for a de-extinction effort to be successful. Number 4. The Pyrenean Ibex The only animal with the dubious distinction of going extinct not once, but twice, the Pyrenean Ibex was a type of wild goat native to the Iberian Peninsula in Europe. Competition with livestock and hunting gradually reduced its numbers, and in the year 2000, the last known member of the species was found dead. That was not the end of the Pyrenean Ibex, however. A few years later, scientists successfully produced a cloned Ibex kid. Sadly, although it was born alive, the kid died after only a few minutes due to a lung defect. This marked the first time that an extinct animal had been returned to life, however briefly, and scientists continue trying to revive this species. Number 3. The Great Auk Although similar to them in appearance, the great auk was actually not at all related to penguins. Native to the North Atlantic and found along the coastlines of Canada, Greenland, Iceland, Norway, Ireland and Great Britain, the great auk was a tall bird, reaching 33 inches or 85 centimeters in height. Much like penguins, great auks were flightless, but agile swimmers, diving to catch fish and other sea creatures to eat. Hunted by humans for their feathers, which were used to stuff pillows, by the mid-1500s their populations were declining. When people realized that they were becoming rare, they attempted to protect them. These measures were at least partially successful because the great ox survived nearly 300 years from that time before finally becoming extinct around 1844. Number 2. The Quaha Long thought to be a distinct species, modern research has shown that the Quaha was actually a subspecies of the modern plain zebra. Native to a small area of South Africa, the Quaha was hunted for its meat and for its unusual skin, striped at the head and brown near the tail. The Quaha was extinct in the wild by 1878 although a few solitary animals survived in zoos until the last died in 1883. Because the quaha was so closely related to living zebras, scientists think it might be possible to recreate them with selective breeding. In 1987, the quaha project began attempting just that, and they are beginning to have some success. Someday soon, the quaha may no longer qualify as an extinct species. Number 1. The Dodo Arguably the most famous of all modern extinctions, the Dodo has become a symbol of mankind's negative impact on vulnerable species. The Dodo was native to the uninhabited island of Mauritius, 
in the Indian Ocean. Because of its isolation and the lack of serious predators on the island, the dodo was flightless and nested on the ground. When Dutch sailors first encountered them in 1598, they hunted the dodo for meat. Never having encountered humans before, dodos were unafraid and were killed easily. In addition, the humans brought dogs, pigs, cats, and rats to the island, all of which disturbed their nests and ate their eggs. Under this double threat, the dodos were soon all killed. And by 1690, less than 100 years after they had been discovered, the dodo was extinct. The extinction of the dodo was incredibly important. It was the first time that it was widely recognized that humans could, by their actions, cause an animal to be completely wiped from the face of the planet. With that knowledge comes the understanding that if we want the wonderful and amazing animals that still live on Earth to remain here, that we must take care of them and the places that they live, or they too may go the way of the dodo. I hope you enjoyed learning a little about some of the fascinating creatures that once roamed the Earth. Goodbye till next time, and stay tuned for more Creature Countdowns from Free School.